In this grasshopper script, you can make a parametric a stair by defining a series of landings in grasshopper. As you can see here, I've defined uh, a landing. I can change the edge by clicking on the edges and maybe just make it a little bit smaller. For example, uh, I can change uh, the shape of this landing and produce new results. So basically this landing is going to define the stairs and you just have to give two inputs for the geometry part and that is the surface for the landings as you can see here uh, and uh, for example I can also scale this edge to produce something like that or maybe just change this edge and to update the edges you can just right click on this line set multiple line and define a line from the mid uh, of this landing to this landing and also from this landing to this landing. Right click and you can see that you can have uh, the complete stairs. You can also change the landing height. The landing height is actually a simple uh, extrusion for visualization. It's not really that important. Uh, the second part is the step height. This is the step height which is going to increase or decrease the number of steps you will have between the landings, as you can see here. Uh, the stringer's thickness, as I increase, you can see that we can change the thickness of the complete staircase. There's also some options for the railings, as you can see here. Uh, the first one is none, which will not give you any railing. The second one is the circular, which is actually a pipe-like railing for the stairs. Uh, then we will have the circular with glass, which you can get output for the glass. And also the rectangular is a complete rectangular profile. And also rectangular with glass can give you some glass for the outputs. Uh, the rail height is also adjustable, so I can change the rail height here. Uh, also the rail width, which is the profile, which you can control and also the glass thickness. If you need a thickness for the glass, you can give it here. Uh, okay, after we finish the uh, inputs, we can get the outputs. So if we go to the output and right click on the step rise and bake it, uh, you can see that we have them here. And this is the output uh, of the steps rise. It's the landings plus the risers, as you can see here. Uh, if I bake the steps, thread we can bake that into another layer if we want to and you can see it here it's completely in the second output uh, available uh, the next one is the stair solid if you want the complete solid of the stairs uh, I can have them here which is useful if you want to use it in your projects and visualize that uh, the next output you can have is the rail profile. Maybe you just want the uh, uh, railings, so I can bake that also into another layer. We'll have that here, you can see that. Also, if we need the glass, we can bake that into another layer to visualize that completely in Rhino and use it in our project. So if I bake the stairs solid, I can have the complete outputs in Rhino and give that different materials. Also, if you want the base, you can also extrude that if you want to and uh, have the base, which is the landings in Rhino. If you also open the example files, you can see that we have three example files for this script. If you open it in Grasshopper, for the first script, you can see that these uh, surfaces and the lines are uh, internalized, so you can use it in your projects. The second one is uh, a simple two surface for landings and a single line for the connection. And you can see how easy it is to uh, adjust different uh, inputs in your projects. Uh, I've also uh, made an offset of the surface for these surfaces so you can see uh, by offsetting them, you can visualize them even better. The last example file is uh, how you can use a curve to produce a series of landings uh, by using this uh, grasshopper script. Uh, you can see that I can change the number of count. Uh, I can change the size of these landings. 
and get different results. So I'm going to also explain uh, how you can use this script, this simple step-by-step -step example to produce these steps. Uh, for example, what I want to do here is to, let's go to the grasshopper interface and Rhino. Uh, you can see that we have a surface and a series of, of connection. Uh, if I have a curve here, what I want to do is to divide uh, that into a series of planes which sit on the curve and these planes are going to be the base plane uh, for the landings. I'm going to use that. Then I'm going to connect this edge to this edge with a series of lines. So let's make a simple curve in Rhino with three points and maybe just move this point a little bit up and I want to make the stairs on this simple curve. So what I want to do here is to make a curve, set one curve and make that as the input. Uh, if you go to the uh, curve section in the division, you can see that we have some horizontal frames. I'm going to use that to produce a series of frames. For example, maybe two to six. That is going to be the number of the frames we need here, okay? And all of them are going to be in the uh, Y X plane. So what we need here is to go to the surface and in the free uh, primitive, maybe we can use the plane surface. I'm going to use the plane surface. And now we can define a series of X and Y dimensions. As you can see here, it's the domain as the input. If you give it a number, for example, 2.2 for the X size, uh, you can see that it's going to, for the X and the Y size, you can see it's going to sit on the edge of the curve, okay? This is useful if you want the landing out. But if you want to make it uh, exactly at the center, you just have to go to the math and use a construct domain. For example, if you want to use that, uh, uh, you can give that to the a and B as an input. And what I want to do here is to say, uh, for example, I want to make it this size, like 10. It's going to be uh, minus five to plus five, right? That is the length. So I can say like minus X divided by two and two X divided by two. That is the length. And we can give that to the X uh, or maybe for the Y. Let me just give that to the X and this one for the Y, right? That is also the for the Y. So remember that you can do that. I've put this in the grasshopper example files. For, uh, for now, I'm just going to give that number sliders to make it as easy uh, to understand. Uh, okay, now that we have these landings, we can give it to the surface. The next part is to make the connections. What we have to do is to extract the edges. So I'm going to go to the surface and deconstruct the BREP and in the set list item I'm going to pick up the edges so the edge is this one is 0, 1, 2 and 3 I'm going to extract all of them here okay and what we want to do is to extract the mid edge so I'm going to go to the curve and pick up this tool here curve middle and say zero, one, and also another one for two, three. I'm going to flatten them so they are all in one group. If you don't know this, you can head out to Parametric House and watch our tutorials. But for now, these are the points we need here. If I connect a line from the curve section, a line to these points, you can see that they are going to connect them together. But we don't need this one. We need this connection from this point to this point. So what I want to do here is to shift this point a little bit forward. Uh, I can use the shift list and shift one of the points at the back forward. So you can see it's going to connect this and this one and this one, but the last one is going to be connected at the end. I have to get rid of the last one. So I'm going to just go to the set and in the sequence, I'm going to call index. 
This is a technique you can always use. For example, I can reverse the list. So this is going to be the first one and say delete the zero and again reverse it back. So this is going to be the first one, second and the last one. This is the technique you can use to uh, produce the connections and now we can give that to the connection. And now you can see how easy it is to produce a series of slabs on a curve and also change the size of the landings, the Y size, turn everything off and also we can change the step height to increase the number of the steps. increase the string thickness and so on okay so the third example is a good example if you want to see that by adding some tools you can make a series of uh, stairs using this simple uh, stairs from landing tool okay I hope that this uh, grasshopper script is useful for you if you have any recommendations or suggestions just let us know in the comments or on our website ghscript.com thanks for watching and see you next time bye